the Game Boy printer, an accessory I must admit I never heard of until later. This of course is the manual, let's see the printer. This is the Game Boy printer, and I do really like the device and the concept. So let's get some batteries in and I am going to print out some stuff. I'm not sure how many it requires. Okay, it looks like six double A's is needed. So let's put these in now. With those in, let's put the battery cover back on. Now let's get to testing. So I actually have some official Game Boy printer paper. Some of it's sealed, some of it is not. The problem with the unsealed paper is it's probably not gonna be as effective. So as you can see, this is kind of a green back version. They have different colors. All of them come with adhesive on the back. Funny enough, I'm actually going to be using the Game Boy printer manual because it gives a really good explanation with a lot of pictures. But instead of you reading it, I'm just going to show you. So let's get that to one side. So the first thing I want to do, since this is already a used reel, is I'm going to cut this to a point. And unfortunately, loading and unloading the paper does cause a lot of waste, so only do it if you have to. The pointier, the better and easier it is to put it in the Game Boy printer. On the rear of the Game Boy printer, there is a clip you can push down that releases this translucent part of the Game Boy printer. That should just slide out like so. Then you get your printer paper. You then have the sticky back side facing upwards towards me. And then you just want to feed it through and it should roll out of the, there it is. You can see poking out. And then you can just pull this bit. Normally it recommends you pull quite a bit out and then you tear. I think it said about six centimeters should be sufficient. Now that is set up, we can then put the cap back on. And there we go, let's turn it on. Ah. And there we go, let's turn the Game Boy printer on and you should see that the feed of the paper goes up just a little bit. If for whatever reason your paper is jammed or not, there is a feed button you can press to feed it out and the paper will come up. There is also a section in the Game Boy manual that explains how you can do a self print test, which I will do now. So you turn off the Game Boy printer and then while you turn it back on, you keep hold of the feed button and that is this self test. The self test will print out a hello with a little Mario. As you can see, it's very faded, but it is there. It's faded because of the age of the paper. Now let's print something out properly and I'm going to use this McWheel Game Boy Color. If you want to see the previous video I've done on this and why it's called a McWheel Game Boy Color, other than the USB charge port and the one battery in it, in the top right will be the latest video on that. I'm going to use Pokemon Crystal. Then you will need the cable that goes into the printer and the Game Boy Color. It goes into the EXT port. This cable actually comes with an adapter for the original Game Boy, as you can use for both consoles. Plug in the first end into the Game Boy Color EXT port. Uh, I got it the wrong way. There we go. Then plug in the other side into the Game Boy printer. Also the wrong way. Now that both ends are plugged in, the manual actually recommends that you always turn on the printer first. Don't think it matters too much, but let's turn on the printer and then turn on the Game Boy Color itself. So there are many games that are compatible, but I'm going to be using Pokemon Crystal as you saw as my example. So in Pokemon Crystal, you can go to the Pokedex, select a Pokemon you want, and then when you click on the summary, there is a print option. And as you can see, it will transmit the data to the Game Boy printer. This does actually take a little while to print out and it is quite slow. And for some reason, mine always stops for a bit when it's nearly almost done and then finish printing out the rest. Don't know if that's normal. I have nothing to compare it to. So let's watch this print out. And this is the bit I mentioned where it stops suddenly for a little while and then it'll carry on printing. And there we go, we have a Cyndaquil printed out nicely and it is a bit faded as I mentioned before, that's just the age of the paper. I'll try and put a picture up on screen now of what it should look like and how vibrant it actually is with some new paper. However, like I mentioned before, there is adhesive back into this so we can peel that off and stick it anywhere, which is great. So let's stick it right here on the printer, perfect. That lives there now. Overall, I'm very happy with the Game Boy Print and I wish I knew about it earlier. I would love to have print out all my old Pokemon from back in the day. Unfortunately, I lost that save a long time ago. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments below. Now, for those interested, 
I'll play the bit of me debugging why it wouldn't power up the first time. So let's take a look at the battery contacts. I didn't see anything, but let's take a closer look. Still can't really see anything, so let's remove some batteries. Okay, that is probably our problem there. There is some little bit of corrosion, so I'm going to use some IPA to clean this up, put all the batteries back in, and then turn on the printer. And hopefully that is our only issue, because it was working before I started to record. Very strange. 